The answer is always no in the test. Our scripture reading today comes to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. No testing has overtaken you. That is not common to everyone. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tested beyond your strength. But with the testing, he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to endure it. Perhaps you have uttered the phrase, this too shall pass. Maybe it was with gritted teeth or under your breath. Or maybe you have heard the statement, God will not give you anything more than you can handle. Unfortunately, this is a bit of bad theology that in the sense says that God will give you the maximum amount you can handle, but not above it. So rest assured that God knows your limits. And here in 1 Corinthians, we get this similar statement. Testing will not be greater than God also providing a way out of it. Now, the Corinthians seem to be enduring issues involving the church, involving the situation, perhaps with their neighbors, perhaps within a struggle. And Paul writes to them and reminds them that the testing they are experiencing, the moments of suffering and troubles, is not unheard of. And more importantly, the answer is already provided. God is ever faithful, and God will always provide a way out if we are looking to him for it. Because there's all kinds of ways out of situations and circumstances, but not all of them are faithful to God. We know in times of that trials that we cannot do it on our own. And thankfully, not everything does last forever. It's more often than not our attitude that makes the difference. When bad things happen or we're uncertain about the future, it can be even tougher to think and say things that are positive. But it is helpful for us to remember that things will change. New seasons are always around the corner. When we can focus on God's faithfulness, we can also see the limits of our testing. In the Lord's Prayer, we are reminded, lead us not into temptation. Another translation could be, lead us not to the time of trial. Give us a way out. And when we say we can't do this, it's just too hard. We need to recognize it and be looking for God to showing us a way. Let us pray. God, I thank you for the strength to make it through any season. We know that you are with us and it won't last forever. Help us to choose faith-filled thoughts and attitudes that will bring peace to the situation and remind us a uh, that you have good things in store for the future. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings to you and yours this day and always. Goodbye.